Today, I'm pleased to announce that the World Bank Group will make available a minimum of $650 million for Guinea, Liberia, and Sierra Leone over the next 12 to 18 months to advance recovery and advance longer-term development needs. These funds will come from the International Development Association, or IDA, our fund for the poorest countries. This is in addition to the U.S. $1 billion that the World Bank Group uh, has already committed for Ebola emergency response and early recovery, bringing the total to roughly $1.65 billion. I have launched a high-level panel on lessons learned, chaired by President Jakaya Kikwete of Tanzania. As, I, as we look ahead, I call on the international community to support the recovery and peace building of Guinea, Liberia, and Sierra Leone. These efforts must also recognize the fragility of these countries' transition from past conflict and instability to sustainable peace and development. Within the context of a Marshall Plan, the indicative cost of bringing the subregion into full recovery is $8 billion, of which $4 billion will be largely focused on building a sub-regional recovery program within a two-year period. The plan Marshall has been the consequence of a war, but also the Ebola is a war against the country, so it's perfectly normal that we can hope for you and que vous imaginez de nouveaux fonds qui peuvent nous permettre de faire face aux conséquences. Whilst the situation has improved considerably, we are not yet out of the woods. We still should remain focused on getting to zero. And I will also urge that uh, the partners that are involved in the fight coordinate with us they are drawdown plans because there seem to be some excitement of withdrawal because of the positive results we are experiencing. But the road to zero could be bumpy, and it has always been bumpy.